Falcons and the Las Vegas Raiders. And we are underway at Allegiant Stadium. From the end zone, here comes Brandon Powell. And he's able to get this across the 20, but not by much as he's marked down officially at the 21. Stafford going to put it up right away. Oh, he was hit as he threw it there, and that one winds up incomplete. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes, but the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. Here's the first carry of the game for Cam Akers. It'll be a first down for the Rams there on a pickup of 18. That's a very nice game there. Confidence building run. Love the execution up front and the way he pressed the hole. Absolutely perfect. On first down, they'll stay with Akers on the ground. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. And that was a quality play to start a new set of downs. That was simply an offensive line winning the battle up front and winning in a big way and giving their guy in the backfield a nice lane to hit. To throw on second and six, Stafford. And that'll be off the mark, too far out in front, and it's incomplete. Man coverage is certainly a staple of their defense, and it's built for plays like that, forcing that incompletion. So after the second down incompletion, they'll come up now against a third and six. A shotgun snap for Stafford. And the hook up here to Allen Robinson. And he is going to have a Rams first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. But one of the ways that quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. They'll run on first down with Akers. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Well, any lane that might have been open there was closed pretty quickly, and that was because the defensive front, they won that battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage. They used great leverage, held their spot, and stacked him up. And the tackle going to be made at the 38. And they're getting him involved early. You feel like they saw something on tape, or they just have a sense with him because he's had a good week of practice or something in that area. But they want him involved, just as you said. They want him to touch it either in the running game or the passing game, but they must like the matchups they're getting. He needed a yard. That's exactly what he got. Earns him a new set of downs. Off a of play action. Here's Stafford. Out to his left. He's going to let this go. Back of the end zone. And that is incomplete. And we're going to see this offense try and spread the field a little bit and utilize the outside third of the field, especially against man coverage. But that time, the defense was up to the task, forcing the incompletion. On second and 10, Stafford going up top for Cup. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked off by Nate Hobbs. And the Raiders are going to take possession of the football as they force the turnover on the opening drive. Carr and the Raiders come up first and 10 at their own 20-yard line. Now a first carry for Brandon Bolden. And just no chance of turning the corner. He can only get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and 10 coming up. So after the run for no gain, here's second and 10. As usual, the hallmark of a good run defense, linebackers making plays near the line of scrimmage. Absolutely nowhere to run there. Now a nice throw here right side. He hauls it in. And he'll be out of bounds right at the 40. Quick throw, it's complete. And they're going to get this up to midfield. 
if you're these receivers, you got to be ready because when he's going to throw it quick on that RPO, he's going to throw it quick. And this is why you spend time with your guy either in the offseason, during the week, the whole bundle. Because sometimes just telepathy. You both see the same thing, and he knows get the ball to him right away. From midfield, here's Carr. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Jacobs. And he is out of bounds inside the 35. Really been an ideal start for them. They get the turnover on the opening possession. Now here they are moving the ball straight down the field on their first drive. And that feels good, but you know on their side of the field, all they're thinking is finish this drive off because they took it away, right? So now you've got them back on their heels a little bit. Now go down, put a touchdown on them. Look out. You've won the mental battle early in the game, and that may carry over for you. The last run got nine. That leaves them with second and a yard. They'll stay on the ground with Jacobs, and he'll be brought down inside the 20 at the 19. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Into the red zone, it's Carr. And that nearly a turnover, but it's incomplete. Oh, fortunate to retain possession there, and it's second down. On second down, Jacobs. And he'll take this inside the 20 and down to the 18. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. They'll be in search of eight yards here as they hope to convert the first down. Throwing his car on third down. It's caught left side, Bolden. And they're going to get him down shy of the first at about the 13-yard line. They'll go for it. It's Carr. And able to catch it, but he's out of bounds. And the throw took him beyond the sideline, and that's going to be a turnover on downs. A chance to get some momentum here in the second quarter, getting their first trip into the red zone, but unable to get it across. And if I'm the head coach, sure, you feel some disappointment, maybe a little bit of deflation there because you didn't get it in, but I'm going straight to rah-rah mode. All right, guys, we didn't get it this time. It's only the second quarter. We'll be back. Let's get it later on. I want to keep this team up. I want them to feel like they've let everyone down. Positive. Got to be positive in this situation. It's too early to think that you don't have a chance to win this game. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Off the fake to Akers, here's Stafford. He'll buy some time right. He'll get this into the hands of Van Jefferson. The Rams going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. Stafford going to give this to Akers. And this will be taken across midfield and into Raider territory. Denzel Perryman there to bring him down. That's a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. Here's Stafford. He'll get this to Akers out of the backfield. And he's going to be taken down at the 28-yard line. Well, that's now four completions in a row. A good bounce back following the interception last drive. Certainly not letting it affect him, that's for sure. And we all know interceptions are going to happen. So the big trick, don't let it affect you going forward. Most of the good. And it's complete. He's got it in the end zone. Touchdown, Ray. Van Jefferson, 28 yards. And the Rams post the first points of the ball game as they take the lead here in this second quarter. Extra point by Gay is up and good. And it's now a 7-0 game. Following the touchdown, here's Gay to kick it away. This taken in at the goal line. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. The Las Vegas offense ready to start this next drive. 
And Charles, we'll see what they can do here. Not a ton of time left, but enough certainly to get points out of this drive. And they need them right now because they're trailing. Yeah, this is exactly why you practice a two-minute drill all through camp and at least one practice each week before a game. A minute left, more than enough time to string a few completions together, reach the end zone, and then make that walk back to the locker room just a little more animated. On first and ten, here's Carr. Got a man, it's Darren Waller. And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. Carr now on first down. The left side throw complete to Adams. And he'll cross over out of bounds right at the 25. Back to back, nice plays. 12 yards that time and a first down. Escaping the pressure right. Throw right side, going to be caught by Waller. Touchdown, Raiders! Darren Waller with a touchdown grab for Derek Carr. And the Raiders are an extra point away from tying the ball game here in the final minute of the first half. Extra point by Carlson, up and good. And that is going to tie our game as we approach halftime. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. And a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. And they've got just under 50 seconds, so time enough to try to work their way downfield if they so choose. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. I to give some credit to the defender on that when he read all of his keys perfectly and got a great break on the ball and able to force that incompletion. They'll fake the give. Now Stafford. Going up top for Cup. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off by Nate Hobbs. And that's now the second time he's picked off a pass here in the first half alone. Again, another great read defensively. And you just see him get in the right position to make the play and get his guys the football back. Now after the INT, it's Carr. Eluding the... And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. The Raiders going to use one of their timeouts as they'll stop it with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play. Throwing on second and long. Carr. Oh, Adams, what a grab. And mark him down way up close to the 40 at the 39. Now another timeout called for by the offense as they'll stop it with 25 seconds to go here in half number one. Forced out to his left. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. He'll get three yards on the scramble there at second down. Working from the gun, it's Carr. And that will be incomplete with a clock down now to 13 seconds. Oh, nice defensive effort there, providing the hit as the ball got to the receiver, separates him from the catch, and normally he's a sure-handed target. That'll be incomplete with nine seconds now showing on the clock. So it doesn't look like they're going to be able to build off the turnover. Well, the defense certainly did its part. It got them the football, but you're exactly right. It looks like they're going to have to punt this one away. And it's not a turnover, but doesn't it feel like one after grabbing the momentum with the defensive play? Yeah, and they had all that momentum after getting the football, and now zapped right back in the other direction. And he'll look downfield for Waller. And this one is incomplete. Boy, a curious decision to go for it doesn't pan out. And the Rams get the football in outstanding field position. The final shot before the break, Stafford. And he's got this to Jefferson. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. And that'll do it for the end of the second quarter. 
This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. And we welcome you back live now inside the booth alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, set and ready to rock for the third quarter. Set and ready to go for the second half. One touchdown apiece, 7-7 our score. Taken at the 15, a short kick. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it up past the 30. The offense for Las Vegas about set to begin the drive. Well, the first half, very even. I mean, really, in all facets, this ball game tied, Charles. So as we start the third quarter, curious to see what the second half brings us. Certainly am. I'm with you on that one. And we all know a lot of coaches from the NFL all the way down to the peewee level. They love to spin it to their teams. Hey, we're starting a brand new shorter ball game. It's all even. Let's go out and seize it. This is ours. Now a dump off here complete. And he gets this to the 35. Good for a gain of five. And a nice gain and a broken tackle along the way. And really, we shouldn't be surprised, should we? That's what runners do, especially the best ones. They break tackles and gain extra yardage. And it looks like we've got a dime set here defensively. Six DBs in the game. Carr with a play fake to Jacobs. And it's complete to Adams. And they've got it well across midfield, down to the 40 before it's all said and done. Excellent play there on third down. Give them 25 yards. So from Rams territory now, it's first and 10, right at the 40. Carr going to give it to Jacobs. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down, second and right at a yard. The previous run, good for nine. Here's second and a yard. Once again, it's Jacobs. And he works it to the 30-yard line here, right at the 30. Able to get the one yard he needed, but nothing more. Here's Carr. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. We saw this a lot in the first half, and it continues. These receivers just not able to get much separation. So that means they have to win the 50-50 balls. They've got to go up with the defender and find a way to start coming down with them. And this time, contact and another incomplete pass. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. Well, he certainly did a nice job improvising there, extending the play, hoping someone would come open downfield, but they never did. Here comes the eighth play of the drive, and they need a full 10 yards on third down. Now Carr. Oh, into a sea of defenders and intercepted. Taylor Rapp with a pick. And the Rams force the turnover, and they'll take over at the 10. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. We have not seen much on offense here from either side these last few drives. We've hit a wall, so to speak. And have hit it hard, haven't we? Because the defenses right now, they seem to be a step ahead, don't they? Beating them to the point of attack, beating them to the punch. These offensive guys, they're tinkering like crazy. What's it going to take to get back on track? Yeah, both sides searching for adjustments. And he'll be taken down at the 18. Call it a gain of four there, so it sets up a big play here. Third and a yard. Oftentimes we praise an offense for their variety and being able to hit people with the run in the pass. But in this game, how about what we're seeing from the safeties? They are all over the field. Doesn't matter if they threw it or if they're trying to run it. I don't think we've ever awarded an MVU most valuable unit, but you're right. It might go to them in this game. I like that. MVU. Well done. A third down gain of three yards, and that'll be enough. Well, after an interception, last thing you want to do is go three and out, give the ball right back. They avoid that. Yeah, you definitely do not want to do that. I remember in college, I played with a really big-time player on defense. We ended up getting an interception as we passed the offense coming out. He told him, if you don't take care of this football, you have to answer to me later. You definitely want to take care of it, pick up first downs. And it is incomplete. Good positioning there downfield to break that one up. Third quarter, all tied up. This is second and ten. Stafford going to give to Akers on the draw. And he's able to plow forward up to about the 29, just shy of the 30. 
49 yards rushing for him now to this point. I thought that was a good call. Passing situation on second down. They hit him with the draw instead and pick up nice yardage. Yeah, because the draw, they're thinking pass when they see that initially defensively, right? Well, you know in today's NFL, most of the time on second and long when it's a passing situation, pass rushers are on the field and they're only thinking one thing, get to the quarterback. And oftentimes you can bypass them with a running play. That his first catch so far. They've held him under wraps, but he's got a first down there. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Meanwhile, Stafford's throw pulled in by Robinson here. So eight yards on the completion there, and they'll be left with second and a couple. They'll fake it. Now Stafford. That's out to the flat for Akers. And he'll get it into enemy territory just across midfield at the 49. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. On the counter, this is Akers. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. Stafford. Looking underneath, he's got Akers. So back-to-back -back plays, each get nothing. And third and eight now. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. Throwing on third down, Stafford. And unable to connect, incomplete. Now give them credit, they took their shot, but it's going to bring up fourth down. The offense schemed going five wide, trying to create a chance for the big shot, and they took it. If he comes down with that one, that's a huge offensive swing, but credit the defense with a nice play, knocking that one away. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. Hey, nothing to see here. Just your standard fourth down gain of 28 yards. And the drive keeps going. Both sides were holding their breath there on that fourth down play, and the offense can breathe a sigh of relief. And both knew exactly where the first down markers were. You know the defense is trying to guard those sticks and try and keep people in front, but somehow, some way, those guys found a way to pick it up. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. Getting down to the good stuff. All tied with two minutes remaining on EA Sports. Second down, they'll go with Akers again. And this time they were ready for him as they'll stop him right at the line of scrimmage. That's a big loss of three, and it brings up third down. They'll go again here with Akers. And he's going to come up well short as they rally up to stop him at about the 16. Call it a gain of four, and it'll bring up fourth down. This one no doubt important for Matt Gay. This for the lead in the final stages. The Raiders going to use one of their timeouts as the clock will stop with just 70 seconds left to go in the game. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. This to break our fourth quarter time. And Gay knocks this one through. And with a little over a minute to play, they have taken the lead. So he waited on the sideline for his first chance in the ball game, and it didn't come until the fourth quarter, but he connects there, a big one, to give him the lead. Boy, you talk about coming in cold. I don't care how many times you kick it into a net. You're not really ready when you go out there and all that beef is coming at you trying to block the kick. Big spot, and he delivers. The Raider offense set to get this drive started. 
As this offense takes the field against CD, remember last drive, they were moving the football, but then they threw that costly interception, so we'll see if they can right the ship here on this drive. And doesn't that just sum up football? We see it all the time, don't we? The defense goes from losing the battle to making a huge play and stealing the momentum. So you know they're riding high right now, and they're ready to challenge this offense and that quarterback one more time. And we'll see if the offense is up for that challenge here as things start to get more interesting here in this second half. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Here's Carr. Oh, he forces one there. It's a potential dagger as it's intercepted. And the Rams have just about sewn up this football game.